Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 535, NASDAQ up 360, S&P's up 86. Gold, gold contract down $6.30, trading at 1806. We had silver up 6 cents, $20.54 an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck. $14, $91.64 a barrel, notes and bonds. We had the 10-year trading up uh, six ticks at 119.21, the 30-year down 16 at 141.28, and the 10-year right now, folks, is yielding 2.79%. King dollar, King dollar got toasted out here down 1,163 ticks, trading at 105 to 11. Uh, you have the uh, euro out here at 102. The yen is trading at a price point, where did she go? At 132, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. We get over it first, let's take a look at the S&P, because what you have out here, bottom line, you don't have an ABC structure up, but it held price, and it held right at the highs, too. Oh, hold on one second, man. Look at that volume they put in. They didn't did it. Oh, it was close, man. Um, they banged in uh, some monster volume at the end here. So we did 63 million. You needed 67. So the bottom line, you still don't have it. Uh, NDX 100. Let's look at the NDX because let's see if they banged 10 million into that too. They didn't. Still at 48. Okay, Bo problem child here, man. Because your 48 is actually going into 154. You know, so uh, as I said during the show, I think it's a little problem, child, too, that you can't hit 326.47. We hit 326.23. Normally, that wouldn't be a big deal, folks. It's a big deal when you get a big day, meaning that when you're so close to a swing, okay, and you have wide price spread happening, you have a decent volume happening, we get decent volume, not great volume. That's when you should be able to blow that away, particularly when you have the composite was up 2.89%. S&P's up 2.1, Dow was uh, lagging out here up uh, 1.3. We get over to that dollar, and this is the big deal, folks, and this is the one you just want to keep your eye on because the bottom line, you had a decisive break downtown out here, uh, and this break downtown, you know, bottom line is saying that, uh, you know, Give it, give it a couple months. You can have a dollar that's out at 97. We have a dollar that's at 97. You'll see commodities higher. You'll see the S&P stay higher. Yeah, you have consolidations and all that. But the bottom line, that dollar down is going to keep relief for the marketplace for <laughs> a little longer. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks.